These are cells of E. coli bacteria, something very small, although these are no ordinary bacteria. These bacteria produce artemisidin as a byproduct. Artemisidin is the drug that treats malaria, a deadly disease spread by mosquitoes that kills nearly a million people each year, or one every 45 seconds. The bacteria were engineered by this man, J. D. Kiesling, a man made of other small things. Jay was born in the small town of Harvard, Nebraska. Who knew that this small town farm boy would be one to save the world by thinking small? Jay grew up in a conservative environment and his mom died at age 11. Around the same time, he discovered that he was hiding a secret from everyone else. One not so small in their minds. Gay in, in small town Nebraska is is difficult. Um, uh, the people who were, if there were any, were certainly not out, and so you had no examples at all. Throughout college, Jay didn't tell his family until he arrived in Berkeley, California with his bachelor's from Nebraska and his PhD from Michigan. In Berkeley, he founded the small Joint Bioenergy Institute, or J-Bay for short, although they swear there's no pun intended. J-Bay is a small elite team of chemists, biologists, engineers, and management staff dedicated to solving the world's problems. They achieved this by rewriting the E. coli's genetic code from scratch and building the DNA and RNA by machine. Jay describes this process as building a factory just millions and millions of times smaller, and who says I don't micromanage? The hope is that the bacteria's byproducts can be siphoned off from the large tanks where the bacteria would live and that the byproducts would be pure enough to sell on the spot to meet both material and pharmaceutical needs. Now, Jay is balancing the institute, his relationship with his dad who has set aside his beliefs for his son, and the lives of his own two sons. Jay Bay's new projects are getting the artemisitin the bacteria produce to the African market in the necessary places with the price tag of pennies it costs to make. They are also getting the bacteria to produce diesel from switchgrass. The goal is to help the world's energy crisis through alternative fuels. He chose switchgrass so that future fuels won't compete with the agricultural market, as switchgrass is inedible to the human palate. This would also save small farm towns like Harvard, Nebraska, and the small farm that's been in Jay's family for five generations. It's running out, um, and it's going to run out even faster, more population starts to drive, more economies grow. Jay has proved that thinking small can be the way to do big things.